Salami, madame, you know, which I've been to. Ah, no! I'm going there. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Serious, they, they give you. Now go there. <laughs> See, that was 4,000. <laughs> Agri business in 2023 has been pretty much good for some and bad for some. Others have lost money, others have made money. I'm with Mr. Akwe. So Akwe is going to give us the detail of how agri business has been for him this year. Go ahead. How has agri business been for you this year? Uh, actually, agri business is good enough for me. I cannot lie to you. It's very good for me. I don't know other person. Um, what, what, what kind of agri business do you do? Let's start with that. Pardon? What kind of agri business do you do? What do you do? Um, I'm dealing with Pepe. All those, I don't know the name, I can call it in English, but. Namichi. It's, it's all those small, small Pepe. Pepe. All those small, small Pepe. That tiny Pepe. Very small. Smallest Pepe. Smallest Pepe. I would say I normally call it Namichi. Okay. So, when you bought and you store and you so what was the average amount that you bought it last year? It was last year, I bought it at a rate of 79,000 naira. To 80,000. 80,000. You even bought for 85,000. Yes, yeah, some people bought 80,000 naira. Even 85,000 naira. Okay. And then how much did you sell the highest? Uh, the highest price because at worst last year. Carry the mic closer to your mouth. You reach almost 70, 175,000 naira. 175,000. But the lowest that you sold was 110,000. 110, 120. 110, 110. I remember the one of my customer, one that I sold. Muzaka said. It's around, around 120,000 naira. 120,000. Okay. But at the end of the day, we still sell at a rate of 475,000 naira. So, what do you think is the major challenge? of um this business now no. uh, we don't have any challenge for now there's no any challenge because when well, you know the time you're supposed to buy and mm. you know the time you're supposed to sell. sell and you are in the market every day so there's not any kind of challenge that you said we, um, we are facing now you so told me something about m3 shops what's happening in the market now yeah it's because of all these bandits bottles Boko Haram. We are fearing. No, they don't allow us to farm. Mm. That's number one. Secondly, for us to to go to village to go and buy, yes. we don't have that kind of chance. Okay. We have to remain in the market for them to bring it. When the all those village people bring the pepper, before, before we can get it. Yes. So assuming we have opportunity to enter village, we can even buy it less than this price that you are buying yeah, yeah. so in the village you can get it for less than that amount less than eighty thousand naira. Yeah, in the village you may not more than 50 yeah. 55 60, okay so because uh, for them to transport it from here to this place, to this place that's the problem uh, nobody that can buy something worth sixty thousand naira and we expect him to sell it for sixty thousand after transportation after transportation it must add maybe five thousand do you think that transportation has added cost of fuel has yes, added yes this issue of fuel too is among of our challenges is among of our challenges all right so that's basically it um how about issue of trustworthy people uh, in fact i would say people they are very trustworthy how many years have you been in funtua uh, about 15 years now 15 years can you speak us already i can try a little bit <laughs> so what have you learned so far from staying with house people and doing business with them uh, i learned also people have patience and mm. they are very accommodative okay they didn't have problems as a yoruba man i as think you're like the only yoruba man market, in this market, in this market. and they are accepting you who have have, you don't have any problem any, with them since when i've been in this market i don't have any problem no matter how nobody we normally fight but immediately we fight and we you said so ourselves but one thing i realized you mentioned when we're going around to buy there were some people that if they come and tell you oh this is the price you don't wish to argue with them <coughs> while there are others I will argue. <coughs> you will argue you know that you don't trust this person that means even among the other people there are also people that are not um serious that they are so uh, people. no when, when you are dealing with people you know their character that this one 
is trustworthy someone this one is not good someone mm. so when i know you that you are not you i'm not i'm not okay i'm not satisfied by you yes. i will not fight you you just go i will just okay no let's go let's go and check your goose when i get there and i will show him that okay see what you want to sell for me it's you not... sell, seal it by yourself mm. i'm not the one that i will tell you it's not good so at the end of the day you don't have any problem with me so <coughs> what can you say so far how many years have you been doing this business i've been i've been doing this business now more than 20 years before i come down to <coughs> north okay i've been doing it at oyo state okay Ibadan, yeah Bodija market Bodija. okay okay market in Ibadan. for somebody who wants to go into this business what's the what's the advice that you give person give me three advice that you give somebody that wants to start agri business eh, the only advice i can give you if you want to start this kind of business yes that is two advice that's very important if you cannot be able to sell it mm. uh, if you cannot be able to buy it by yourself you have to look for someone that you trust yes you cannot just enter market and buy mm. because when you enter market and buy by yourself you buy something that is not, it's not good. good okay for you to sell it by yourself mm. you cannot be able, even though you bring it by yourself to come and sell it they mm. will still cheat you because you are not in the market because you don't, you know, don't know somebody that you don't know inside. where they will just see you as a stranger yes where you suffer they will just allow you to suffer at the end of the day you they will buy it anyhow we beg, beg them okay, come and buy my own mm. so when you know someone that can help you <coughs> in the market you don't have any problem okay how about um you said what's the second advice that's the is it's even more than two advice how to buy and how to say uh, if you don't know how to buy you have to know someone that can help you buy. That is the first advice. The second advice, if you want to sell too, you have to ask someone that can help you sell too. One thing I tell my followers is that agri business is one business that you cannot lose all your money. No, 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 no. Yes, you cannot lose. No matter how, if you follow the right channel, you will not lose your you money. Not lose. Then you follow the right channel. Mm. Because if you don't follow the right channel, you will lose. I will not lie. You. Because we too, it's not that we are not God. Mm. We are just rely on God. Mm. But no matter how you know how to manage that, you cannot lose all money. your money. You cannot even lost at all. Even though we don't gain much, uh, at least a little bit. Yes. Gain a little bit. Yes. But you lost, no, it's not possible. That's why we have to follow the right channel. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Yeah, 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 welcome. All right, <laughs> thank you so much. Yay.